These are the focus tonight. Sarawak State Education Department Director retires. STIDC and WCS Malaysia signed MOA to launch Tanjung Manis Blue Carbon Project. Student admissions to Yayasan Sarawak International Secondary School based on exam results. Good evening. Sarawak State Education's Department Director, Datuk Dr. Azhar Ahmad, has extended his heartfelt appreciation to Sarawak Premier, Datuk Patingi Tan Sri, Dr. Abang Durahman Zohari, Tun Datuk Abang Openg, and the Sarawak Government for the unwavering support towards the education sector. He acknowledged that various development initiatives and programs implemented by the Sarawak State Education Department and the Ministry of Education Malaysia have consistently received strong backing from the Sarawak Government. Saya sangat berbangga lah di atas uh, segala sokongan dan kita sangat uh, beruntung kerana mempunyai uh, seorang pemimpin yang uh, mempunyai wawasan yang uh, begitu jauh untuk pembangunan negeri Sarawak dan sudah tentu kita di Jabatan Pendidikan Negeri Sarawak memainkan peranan penting uh, untuk uh, uh, menyediakan sumber manusia yang bersesuaian bagi mengisi uh, pelbagai agenda pembangunan di negeri Sarawak. He said this when met after his farewell visit to Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuhari at the Sarawak Legislative Assembly complex on Wednesday. Datuk Dr. Azhar has served as the Sarawak State Education Department Director for nearly five years from 2018 to March 2020 and again from March 2022 until 14 November 2024. Reflecting on his tenure, Datu Dr. Azhar highlighted several notable achievements, particularly the implementations of the Dual Language Program (DLP) in all primary schools across the region. Program uh, tahun depan, tahun yang keenam, dan insyaallah tahun 2026 kita akan meneruskan program DLP ini ke di sekolah menengah secara sepenuhnya. Jadi ini bagi memastikan anak-anak kita bukan saja dapat menguasai ilmu sains dan matematik eh, tapi juga uh, mengasai uh, bahasa Inggeris dengan sebaik-baiknya lah untuk membolehkan mereka memainkan peranan yang lebih luas eh, pada masa depan insya -Allah. This Sarawak Timber Industry Development Corporation, STIDC, and Worldview Climate Solutions, WCS Malaysia, Sindarin Bahad, have signed a memorandum of agreement, MOA, to launch the inaugural Blue Carbon Project in the Tanjong Manis area. The agreement was signed by WCS Malaysia Managing Director Datuk Salva Kumar A. Subramaniam and STIDC General Manager Zainal Abdin Abdullah while witnessed by Sarawak Deputy Premier Datuk Amal Awang Tengah Lee Hassan. Datuk Amal Awang Tengah, who is also Chairman of the STIDC Board of Management, said the project aims to restore and preserve 10,000 hectares of mangrove forest in the region which will have a positive impact on environmental sustainability and the economic development of the region through foreign investment. Jadi, uh, kita ucapkan terima kasih lah kepada syarikat yang bersedia untuk bekerjasama dengan ISDADC. Ini CCUS lah? Ha? Dia penyimpanan? No, 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 no. This is on mangrove. Mangrove, mangrove. Carbon offset. Carbon. Yeah. Dan mangrove ini dia punya carbon uh, footprint, uh, is better the storage better. Mm -hmm. So kita harap ia, ianya akan berjaya. He told reporters after officiating the MOA ceremony on behalf of Sarawak Premier Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohari at the Sarawak Legislative Assembly Complex on Wednesday. Tanjung Manis has been identified as an ideal location for a competitive blue carbon site based on a feasibility study conducted since 2023. The project is viewed not only as a significant step in environmental conservation, but also as a major opportunity to attract foreign investment which could stimulate economic growth in Sarawak's green energy and ecotourism sectors. This Sarawak Legislative Assembly has passed the Natural Resources and Environment Bill 2024 to strengthen Sarawak's autonomy in environmental management. The approval was announced by Sarawak Legislative Assembly Speaker Tan Sri Dato Amar Muhammad Asfi Awang Nasa after receiving unanimous support from members of the August House on Tuesday.
Earlier when tabbing the third reading of the bill, Sarawak Deputy Premier Dato Ahmad Wang Tengah stated that the bill would provide a comprehensive framework to enhance environmental protection laws while promoting long-term socio-economic growth. Offering a comprehensive framework that strengthens environmental protection laws and promotes long-term socio-economic growth. By instituting this stringent legislation, this bill addresses the critical need to combat climate change and environmental degradation. As the world grapples with these urgent issues, Sarawak position is served as a part of a global effort to protect the planet, aligning with international environmental standards and practices. He added that Sarawak's commitment to the bill reflects a forward-looking governance approach, addressing current needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet theirs. Petroleum Sarawak Berhad Petros is set to create 100,000 high-quality job opportunities for Sarawakians. Sarawak Minister for Utility and Telecommunications, Dato Sri Julahi Narawi, said Petro's appointment as the sole gas aggregator in the region will expedite development of the Sarawak Gas Roadmap, SGR. Apabila Sarawak melalui Petro's menjadi gas aggregator tunggal di Sarawak, kita percaya, percaya bahawa ianya akan dapat mempercepatkan pembangunan Sarawak Gas Road Map seperti yang saya katakan tadi dan ianya dijangka akan mewujudkan lebih daripada 100,000 peluang pekerjaan berkualiti tinggi untuk rakyat Sarawak. Ia juga akan menyumbang kepada peningkatan keluaran negara kasar ke DNK Sarawak sebanyak di sekitar 800 setahun yang merupakan sasaran kita menjelang 2030 berdasarkan PCDS 2030. So inilah di antara uh, benefit ya yang diperoleh oleh Sarawak apabila Petros menjadi gas aggregator tunggal di Sarawak. He said this in response to questions from Katibas Assemblyman Lidam Asan and Daro Assemblyman Shafi Ahmad during the 19th Sarawak Legislative Assembly sitting on Wednesday. Dato Sri Julahi added that Petros, as the sole gas aggregator, will be responsible for overseeing all activities related to the procurement, supply distributions and sale of natural gas in Sarawak. Admissions to the Yasan Sarawak International Secondary School YCs are based on merit and have no connections to racial background. Sarawak Deputy Minister for Education, Innovation and Talent Development, Dato An Dr. Anwar Rapa'i, said student selections are based on exam results while also considering their social economic status. All these students are being enrolled based on two things. Number one, they must have been five at primary six. When they apply to sit for the exam, they must qualify for band five, band five minimum. The, the procedure is they have to apply through the Guru Besar. So in other words, the Guru Besar will, um, not verified, will recommend this student because yang betul ni dapat band five. And then September or towards the end of September, there is an exam which is run by Yasan Sarawak and Finburn. He said this in a press conference at the Sarawak Legislative Assembly complex on Wednesday. For the second selections criterion, Dato Dr Anwar reiterated that students who pass the exam would undergo a further screening based on their socio-economic status. We will filter based on their socio-economic background. Okay? If you are b 40 you are m 40 or N20. Okay? So the top T20 will be recruited. The top M40 will be recruited. The top B40 will be recruited. Nothing to do with your racial background. Okay? 
Uh, that's what I want to stress. Mm. So it's purely based on your social demography, uh, social economy, plus your exam results. And that's the English edition with me, Shari Malik. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.srawak.gov.my, and social media platforms, including Facebook and YouTube. We conclude the bulletin with a montage of the 21st Paramalaysian Games Appreciation Dinner held at the Borneo Convention Center, Kuching, on Tuesday. Hashtag Saluran Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night. Syasukan yang dinanti Dengan harapan yang tinggi Kejayaan dimiliki Semangat kian membara Perjuangan kini bermula Kemenangan pasti digenggam Impian jadi Yeah.